Do you have any recommendations for soundproofing a room? I have roommates and don't want to disturb them. Hmm. Soundproofing a room. So this issue of singing and training with privacy without, uh, without disturbing your neighbors uh, or your roommates or family members is a real big issue uh, for a lot of people. Um, so I sort of sympathize with you. If you go to the first lesson in the program, the very first lesson in the course, I address this. I give you guys a list of places where you can go to practice and get privacy. Um, I've spent a lifetime doing this, so I've, I've just learned the hard way. Different creative ways to find a private space where you can practice, okay? It may not be something like this, but go to the first lesson in the course, watch the video, look at the table that I created for you, and there's like 25 good ideas that when you read it, you'll go like, Oh, yeah, why didn't I think of that? That is a good idea. I'm going to call that guy, or I'm going to try that. Okay? So, solution number one, soundproof solution number one, just get out of the room. Just get yourself away from the people that are complaining. All right? Soundproof solution number two. Um, I was in, uh, God damn it, I was in Germany last spring at the Music Mezza Festival, sort of European's version of the NAMM show. Um, and uh, uh, it was, um, can I, I can't remember the German city, uh, um, um, not Stuttgart, but anyway, it doesn't matter. It was a Music Mezza. Anyways, I met a guy there, I met a guy there, and he um, is Swedish, young guy, and he builds, he builds, uh, um, a soundproof booth that you sort of like, like you get under, like you, 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 it's it's pretty cool. You, you you crawl underneath like a like a sheet, like you crawl under a a curtain, and you, you, you have and you put your head. Your head is like in this in this white soundproof box. Like you, you basically put your head in a box, okay? <laughs> and it's totally soundproof. And this is exactly why he created this thing. He created this product uh, uh, so that people can have, can make, you know, it's great for recordings, of course, as an isolation place, but it's also made for people to practice. And I believe it's called, I believe it's called Box Box. Let me just see if I can grab the, the, uh, the domain real quick here. Hang on, guys. Box Box. Is that it? That's not it. Um, God. Uh, um, sound proofing vocals booth. Just gonna take a real quick look here. Sound So there's a there's a couple of these things. There's a there's a there's a couple different products that will give you a a, um, a quiet vocal booth or sound a room a little space that won't bleed out to the world and mess up your recordings and mess up your neighbors. Okay. Uh, I'll just drop this in. This is not the product I'm talking about, but this is similar to what, uh, a similar thing. Good evening, Jim. Good to see you, Jim. Jennifer Sharp. All right. Um, okay. Sorry, don't remember the name of that product. At the end of this, broadcast um, I'll go out and I'll find that guy's uh, I, I have it it's in my system I'll, I'll find it I'll put it in here you go take a look at it but there's different solutions so there's like little soundproof booths and things you can go look at what, what you want to do is you want to go to Google and type in soundproof 
box, our vocal booth, or soundproof vocal box, or portable vocal box, okay? Something like that. That'll get you there. And I'll put the link to this guy's deal in Sweden, the guy in Sweden that I met in Germany. I'll put it in the thingy. Okay. Next question.